DeAndre eight seven one two fifty. Chisholm, fast, quick, and nimble. He's a he's a transcendent player. Player that's back to the basket. He goes over both shoulders. He can be involved in pick and pop. The first pick in the 2018 NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select DeAndre Ayton. I'm told that the DeAndre Ayton extension talks have ended wow. without a deal. Going into the season, he did not feel valued by this Phoenix organization. Dominance. I'm bringing dominance. My name is Dominating. DeAndre Ayton has not had the smoothest ride in the NBA so far. From being drafted as the number one overall pick to putting up mediocre numbers entering the prime of his career, DeAndre Ayton has been viewed as underwhelming. And we know that he did not exactly get along with head coach Monty Williams back in Phoenix. Looking at Ayton's career up to this point, many people have been asking what actually happened to DeAndre Ayton. From once being expected to become the face of the NBA's next generation of big men, to facing controversies, questions about work ethic, and underwhelming performances, he has certainly not lived up to expectations as a number one overall pick. But let's dive into the story of how even DeAndre Ayton got to this point, and if he has the ability to turn things around. DeAndre Ayton is known for being a physically imposing and athletic center at 7 foot 1, 250 pounds. This kind of build compared him to the likes of Hakeem Olajuwon early on, primarily with his footwork, allowing him to create moves in the post for easy buckets and keep up with smaller players on the defensive end. Many fans believed that Ayton had superstar potential in the NBA, but nearly six years after being drafted first overall by the Phoenix Suns, he is nowhere near conversations as one of the best players in the league, and is not even considered to be near the best at his position. And don't get me wrong, he is still young and has plenty of time to turn things around. He's looking to change this narrative, especially being on the Portland Trail Blazers with an opportunity to start fresh. But he was drafted with the first overall pick in 2018, above the likes of multiple-time All-Stars and All-NBA level players such as Luka Doncic, Trey Young, Shea Gilgis Alexander, and Jalen Brunson. The big question remaining is, will DeAndre Ayton ever tap into that great potential? See, people are quickly forgetting about his crazy rise. Aiden burst onto the scene at the University of Arizona back in 2017, racking up 19 points, 12 rebounds, and 3 blocks in his debut. Throughout his college years, he was used as a power forward instead of center, and he showcased his talents on the court, carrying one of the best teams in college basketball as a freshman and becoming one of the hottest prospects in the country. Aiden later announced that he'd forego his final three seasons at Arizona and declare for the 2018 NBA Draft after dominating his freshman year, winning the Pac-12 Player of the Year. Selected as the first overall pick by the Phoenix Suns in 2018, Aiden was the Suns' first number one overall pick in the franchise's history, and he certainly brought his imposing physical presence to the court. He came on strong in the preseason, getting us all excited to watch him rock those Suns threads and give us an early glimpse into the exciting future. He took that form into the NBA season, scoring a double-double on 18 points and 10 rebounds in his debut, and continued putting up great rookie numbers for the Suns. He was a double-double machine during his rookie season, and set a Suns rookie record for double-doubles with 39. Aiden led the Suns in rebounding at 10 boards a game and averaged 16 points per game on 59% shooting. But as time moved along, the expectations for Aiden only increased. In the 2020-21 season, he played a pivotal role in the Suns' playoff journey, making their first appearance since 2010. DeAndre Ayton averaged 16 points and 12 rebounds in 22 games during the 2021 playoffs. He was scoring almost half of his points in the playoffs on cuts and pick and rolls, and did it with high efficiency. His defense also improved in the playoffs, and it was clear that if the Suns would progress, it'll all come down to Ayton's defensive presence. 
I mean, if you're going to beat the Denver Nuggets in a seven-game series, it starts with containing the MVP, Nikola Jokic. That's no secret, but before the Western Conference semifinals series against the Phoenix Suns even tipped off, Jokic admitted his next matchup, DeAndre Ayton, is the player that gave him the most trouble during the regular season, and he wasn't wrong. Ayton held Jokic to just 29 points on 13 for 34 shooting from the field in the 84 possessions that they matched up against each other in the 2020-21 regular season, and it only took one game into the series to see that statement hold true, as Ayton bottled up the Joker to lead the Suns to a Game 1 victory and eventually the series victory over the Nuggets. This gave Phoenix the impression that Ayton was ready to hit that next gear in his game, so they began expecting even more from him. The Suns would eventually make the NBA Finals in 2021, and in Game 1 of the Finals against the Milwaukee Bucks, Ayton finished with a 22-point effort on 8 of 10 shooting with 19 rebounds, a performance coming after coach Monty Williams had told him to play with more force. The game marked his sixth double-double in the playoffs with at least 15 rebounds, which is tied for the fourth most in NBA history behind Wilt Chamberlain and Bill Walton with nine and Bill Russell with eight. The Phoenix Suns had a 2-1 lead in the series, but after an eye-opening 20-point loss in Game 3, the Suns had to make adjustments, starting with how they were using Aiton. See, the Suns' only hope to combat the physical force Giannis was for DeAndre Ayton to play with some serious edge. Milwaukee started to emphasize the blueprint of Giannis driving more downhill, knowing that Ayton is young and might struggle guarding Giannis in the open court. Head coach Monty Williams' biggest mistake was leaving Ayton with one of the league's best players and Giannis in a one-on-one -on -one setting far too often. Giannis was all over Ayton, and Ayton just couldn't contain him. It was something about this series that Aiton wasn't able to truly bounce back from. Maybe his confidence was shot. Maybe he lost trust with his coaching staff. Maybe he was upset that they left him on an island with arguably the game's best player. Because during the following season, Aiton took a significant step back in his numbers across the board, including a career-low 29 minutes per game. To make this even worse, Aiton had a subpar playoff run in 2022, particularly against the Mavericks when he shot an abysmal 57% from the free throw line. Phoenix knew something wasn't right, and they needed to make some kind of change. In the 2022 offseason, reports suggested Aiton wasn't happy with the team, including issues with his coaching staff, but he couldn't leave anyways, as the Suns later matched the Pacers' offer sheet. But this didn't stop the friction between Aiton and the Suns. The tension between the two came to a head during a game against the Washington Wizards back in December 2022, where Aiton and Williams were seen exchanging words during a timeout late in the fourth quarter in a 113-110 loss for the Suns. This incident wasn't without substance. There was meaning to it. See, Aiden admitted a couple months earlier that he hadn't spoken to Monty Williams during the entire offseason in 2022, after their horrific 33-point loss in Game 7 to the Dallas Mavericks in the Western Conference semifinals. The two argued in the second half of that game too, and Monty Williams wound up benching Aiden for the rest of the game after Aiden only played 17 minutes. Despite efforts to mend their relationship, including Aiton's comments that everything is back to normal, that's definitely not what it seemed from the outside. Aiton's playing time ultimately reduced in crucial games. He felt undervalued by the organization, particularly when they didn't offer him a rookie extension, and his lack of communication with Monty Williams during the offseason made things feel worse. Despite Aiton averaging just under 18 points, 10 rebounds, and 2 assists per game, his strained relationship with the coach and teammates overshadowed some of his on-court presence. But here's the thing Aiton wasn't willing to face, his low work ethic. DeAndre Aiton's struggles go beyond just effort. Sure, the memes may flood social media regardless of what you do nowadays, but that moment against Denver remains pretty hilarious. But see, the real issue with Aiton is his motor when it comes time to make winning plays. 
Though he was in his first ever postseason in 2021, and admittedly, the finals stage is huge for anyone, let alone a third-year player, Aiden was criticized for not showing that make-or-break mentality against elite talent like Giannis, who had his way with him. And for those saying that we should cut him some slack because that was his first time on the stage, I mean, we saw it during the 2022 playoff run too, when he struggled at critical times on defense. Aiton's lackluster effort on both ends of the floor just minutes into a do-or-die game was still frustrating, mostly because it was all the highlights of the inconsistency that have been an issue throughout his first four years in Phoenix. He doesn't bother running down court or when he jogs back on defense or when he just stands there doing nothing or when he doesn't box out. And then in the 2023 postseason, Aiton found himself matched up against Jokic, who was averaging monstrous stats. While Aiton was supposed to at least make things hard on Jokic, it was like he wasn't even there. Denver's strategy was clear, exploit Aiton's defensive vulnerabilities. They ran him through screens, forcing him to make split-second decisions which often led to defensive breakdowns. Aiton's hesitation and indecisiveness left the Suns exposed, resulting in a barrage of scoring opportunities for Denver. Whether it was miscommunication or Aiton overthinking his defensive assignments, the result was the same – easy buckets for the Nuggets. While his performance fluctuated, it's clear that the Suns needed Aiton to step up defensively to stand a chance in the playoffs, especially against an elite opposing big man. But Aiton mightily disappointed in that department. So, on September 27, 2023, just before the start of the 2023-24 season, there was a huge trade involving DeAndre Aiton. He was part of the three-team trade between the Suns, Blazers, and Bucks, being a side piece to the deal that was centered around Damian Lillard's trade to the Milwaukee Bucks. The day after the trade, he unfollowed ex-teammates Devin Booker and Kevin Durant, which seemed like quite the petty move. But maybe it brought to light that there was indeed bad blood within the team. Aiton's move to the Trailblazers was supposed to be a game-changer, unleashing his full potential. After all, there was no more beefing with the head coach, no more clashing with teammates, and a lot less pressure to perform on a rebuilding team in Portland. So now was the perfect opportunity for Aiton to launch into superstardom, right? Um, no. In fact, it's been the worst season of his career so far, and concerns about Aiton are now bigger than they ever were. Aiden even joked about bringing dominance to Portland, but his game has been far from dominant, especially with his traditional stats, as Aiden is averaging a career-low 13.8 points per game. It does now seem like the Suns' criticism of Aiden's inconsistency and lack of work ethic seems to have some merit after all. Six years after being drafted, Aiden was already supposed to be among the very best big men the NBA has to offer. He should have been among the likes of Embiid, Jokic, and Bam because he was that skilled and dominant coming into the league. But he's only regressed in each of the last few seasons. So can DeAndre Ayton recover his NBA career and reach the star status that was projected upon him? Or will he go down as another first overall pick that had never lived up to expectations? Let us know in the comments below!